Hello stampers, this is super awesome stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wisconsin, USA. In this video, I will show you how to create this hand stamp greeting card using the gingerbread and peppermint suite of products from Stampin' Up! It's part of my suite of the month program where if you purchase the suite of products, then I will email you a PDF of other projects to create with your suite and the video links to assemble them. All right, so let's get started with some stamping first. So I've got my uh, basic white piece here and my cinnamon cider piece. This basic white is for the inside. Let's just lay that right there. And it's just my standard 1 6 of an 8.5 by 11 piece of basic white. Cut that into six equal pieces. So if you're in a metric market, cut your uh, basic white cardstock in six equal pieces and you will have a card liner. All right, so I'm using the Real Red ink pad and you're the icing to my gingerbread. And then this fun little triple candy swirl go in the upper corner. All right, and then flip this shut. In the front, we've got Happy Holidays towards the bottom there. And I'm just using the weight of the block to ink up my stamp. These are photopolymers, so you can see the ink uh, transfer from the ink pad to the stamp. Just had to make sure right there. I wasn't watching what I was doing. Just like that. All right, I'm going to set that ink pad far away because I'm done with it. Don't want to get my ink anywhere. I don't want it. Okay, next, let's pull in the rest of our card kit. So I've got a cinnamon cider base. And then I've got a piece of the pattern paper, it's this fun little um, hard candy swirl pattern. So it measures for the Imperial three fourths inches by five inches. And if you're in the metric market, uh, cut yours to 9.5 by 12.7 centimeters. And I'm just using Stampin' Seal today. So breaking it, uh, the adhesive at a 90 degree angle to the table. And then that just gets centered on the card front. And I like to assemble my pieces as I make them and or layer up from the largest piece to the top piece. So break that adhesive at an angle and you shouldn't have any problems with uh, the adhesive breaking in the wrong spot. All right, and so the cinnamon cider piece measures two and a half by four and a quarter inches. I just had a piece uh, in my scrap bin that was the width of the card, so that's what I used. But it's hanging over there a little bit. That's partly due to the score mark, so I'm just going to uh, cut it off with my paper strips. Flip it over so I can do a custom cut off. And that measures 6.4 by 10.5 centimeters if you're working in the metric market. All right, this piece is going to go on the inside. Just like that. All right, next, uh, the pattern paper in this uh, suite is six by six inch size. And most of the shapes come with a coordinating die set. They did not include the, the mittens. So I had to do fussy cutting using my paper snips. Those are such a handy tool to have in your workstation. So I fussy cut those out. But you can see here, if I wanted to do two stars or just one star, you could use the framelit set to cut those out. All right, and then I also cut out, fussy cut out some of the um, mints, but I don't like them on my card. You can leave me a comment and tell me if you like those or not. I don't like the addition of the green. If it was just a red and white candy, I think I would like it. Um, it kind of breaks up my colors, my color scheme. My color scheme, the red, real red and the uh, cinnamon cider. All right, so I've got the two mittens and they're gonna hang like this with the thumbs on the outside. And I've got a string, you remember when we were little, your mom would attach your mittens to a string. That was my thought. So I'm gonna attach a little bit of adhesive just towards the cuff. And that's gonna anchor our string onto our mitten. Just center through the mitten wrap it around and grab the other one. Uh, look where you put your adhesive. 
This is the middle mini ruffled ribbon. It's real red and it's part of the suite as well. Uh, I cut about four inches. I just did a custom cutoff, which is about 11 centimeters. And then on the back side, I cut our the edges of our mini dimensionals. So you see the edges of our dimensionals? Go ahead and cut those up. Uh, you can certainly use them. So I did two squares. And what I'm going to do is attach it over the end of that ribbon so it anchors that ribbon. And then for a little bit of extra security, you can grab your mini dimensional and attach one towards the bottom of the mitten. And then we just overlap them. I had the mitten in my left hand uh, crossing over the right one. There, quick cards. So you can see the two uh, side by side, whether or not you like the little mints on there with the old olive, that is up to you. But here is the card that we just created. So I just wanted to go through quickly this suite. Uh, included in the suite is the Frosted Gingerbread stamp set. And the pattern paper, I just wanted to share that. Look at all these gorgeous patterns. There are 12 different patterns you get for each of the 12 patterns. So flip that over. And there's that pattern that I used today. Just a lot of possibilities there. And then the rest of the gingerbread and peppermint suite, it's on page eight and nine of the August to December catalog. So when you purchase the suite, uh, the suite is $143.50 in the US. You get one each of every item shown on this page. So there is one stamp set and two die sets included, a memories and more card pack, envelopes and no cards, uh, the ribbon that I use, the acrylic shapes that I did not use in this video. We have the craft paper, some adorning designs, decorative masks, and of course the, the pattern paper that I showed you. So I hope you enjoyed my video showing you how to use the gingerbread and peppermint suite of products to create a quick and simple hand stamp greeting card. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you like and subscribe before you hop on over to the next video and we'll stamp with you soon. Bye.